Hello everybody, what is going on? I am Joey. So today you joined me here at the Rod Emery Motorsport Open House. So a year ago I came here and filmed a video and it ended up being my most viewed video of all time, gaining, uh, as I'm filming this, 5.7 thousand views. Unbelievable, it's a good video. Make sure to go check it out. But we're coming back this year for another one, so let's get another great video in. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that so you can stay up to date with all the newest content coming out. So starting off with this row here, we got some quite patinaed cars, but it's actually kind of cool seeing them not restored because, you know, you have these nice restored, this one's a Volkswagen Beetle. Very nice, don't get me wrong, but something about the patina look that actually is kind of cool. So I definitely like these, that's for sure. I definitely had to show you this. So this is the whole parts room where while the body's getting restored, all the parts go before they get refurbished. And when you see the amount of stuff that's in here, it's astounding. This is a cool one, Baja Beetle. Um, obviously it's currently being rebuilt or maybe it'll just be left like this. Uh, it's actually interesting seeing it like this. It's cool as uh, the fenders are inside the car. I don't know if you can see that, but this is definitely a cool one. And then. Every single shelf is just unbelievable. I mean, you got steering wheels, fans, doors, you know, I mean, the entire car is essentially just sitting in this room waiting to be restored. And then this is probably the most surprising, but look at all these engines. I mean, I'm struggling to count, but I would say there's easily 100 engines just sitting here. That's pretty cool. Back there, a bunch of transmissions. Obviously going to get rebuilt, re-put into these cars, but yeah, it just speaks for itself, doesn't it? Okay, so we're now inside the actual workshop where they put together and build all these cars, and some of them start as, you know, original, some of them are just, you know, bare frames. I need to have all the metal redone, like this bottom row right here, and then your final product is this row right here, which they're just beautiful cars. I mean, an Emery Porsche is always just so special to see. So this is the metal working area. So this is actually probably the first step of restoration after they strip off the paint. So as you can see with the cars, stripped to the bare metal, straightening them out, you know, making the custom shapes and everything. So this is as pure as the car can really get. And this obviously is in a frame so it can roll around. But yeah, always interesting seeing them completely stripped down. I mean. There is literally nothing on this car. The other cool thing with Emory Motorsport as well is the machines they use are actually vintage. So these are not any new parts like they have in the new modern factories. So the cars are actually getting built like they were originally with, I wanna say this is probably 1950s, could be earlier or later, but always cool to see them being built the old fashioned way. Check out all these clamps here. I mean, that is just something. But yeah, I mean, every single one has a specific purpose and job, so. Very cool. The attention to details, unbelievable. So this is where they do all the upholstery. So you got all the leathers and cloths and whatnot waiting here. Here's the stitching machines. You can take a look at some of the uh, hound's tooth. But yeah, I mean, there's quite a few different roles. And you know, this is just one bit, the upholstery. And you know, people often take the upholstery for granted, but 
the way they do these interiors are just so amazing and you can really tell the quality. All right, so here's actually some restored ones, but definitely some of my favorites. These two 911s here, very nice. And then one of the most iconic ones he's restored is his 356 right here. The mobile horse, always a classic, but yeah, this is just such an awesome car. It's off white color as well. Looks more white on camera, but that cream of the red and the black, it just all comes together so nicely. I think the cool thing about Emory Motorsport is not just that they do, you know, standard 356 coupes, but there's so many different variants to do. Like this one's like an open top roadster that I've never seen. I don't remember if Porsche actually made one. If you do know, let, leave a comment and let me know. But this one here, again, not original, but there's just so many cool resto mods they do. And, you know, you got cars that are just, you know, a tube frame. This one's missing, you know, almost half the fender. And it's just cool when they strip them back to the bare bones because then they can create something, you know, totally original. And, you know, it actually follows the principle of, you know, what uh, Ferry Porsche did when he founded the company of, you know, building your own sports car. And that's, I think, what's so cool about Emory Motorsport is, you know, it really does follow the founding principles of Porsche of, you know, building a sports car of your dreams. I mean, it is just so cool. Also, check out this line of all the restored cars. I mean, how cool is that? So this is actually not where they do the painting, but it's a step after. I'm not sure where they do the painting of the cars. So this is basically where, after they get the body back with painted, you know, they're assembling it together, putting in the headlights, the suspension, and all the interior components. And it is very cool to see these cars, you know, completely stripped out. Because surprisingly, there's actually quite a bit of space, but obviously because there's no interior in the car yet. But it's cool to see cars with, you know, just absolutely nothing in them. You know, just in the halfway through the restoration process. Like, for example, this one is a headliner. You know, it's got the roll cage, it's got the leather and the floor matting, but yet it's, you know, missing a dashboard and seats. I mean, it's cool seeing the whole restoration process take place. Now, usually you don't see bright yellow 356s, and this one is more, I don't know what they call it, but it reminds me of that one kind of dark yellow Lamborghini color. It's showing up on camera as a bright yellow. It's almost, I would say, a hybrid between yellow and orange. Anyways, though, very cool color, and you never see these on 356s. You know, you normally see your blacks, your blues, your grays, but there's something about a yellow that's so much fun. So this is the engine rebuilding area. So we got a bunch of just engines sitting here. Uh, I'm assuming these are completed since they look to be all shiny and new. But always cool to see the engines out of the cars fully being rebuilt. But yeah, they just do such a nice job with this. And yeah, something about air-cooled engines. There's nothing like them. And then also, like, the way the parts and everything is organized, I mean, you don't see many shops that are like this. I mean, it's like a factory. Every single thing has a place and is in a, you know, certain area for a specific reason. And this one's pretty cool. Never seen this and be interesting to see what it turns out as, but... Definitely the body's got a lot more vents and kind of going for the racing style. So it'd be cool to see this when this is finished. I guess the uh, showroom but this is either you know where you customize or select what you want I guess and you see all the different seat options super cool so you got you know your cloths with your houndstooth your different leathers suede 
But yeah, always cool to see all the different options because there's just so many different variants of these cars you can do. These clocks are cool as well with the uh, air-cooled fans. Super cool to see that. This 356, always one of my favorites. Uh, very cool, obviously, the silver color, but full wheel arches and everything. So this is simulating, or actually it might be an original. Again, I'm not sure, but full race car spec. But yeah, this is just so awesome. So you can join me now back outside to check out the finished product of what an Emory Motorsport 356 or 911 looks like. You definitely want to see these. So I do not know all the names of all these specific cars. I'm not a total Rod Emory fanboy, but I'll definitely highlight some of the ones I think are super cool. Oh, super cool, just like last year. Uh, anyways, this one, lovely blue it's finished in, but I think the interior, it's not exactly a red and it's not a brown, but it's an interesting hybrid of the two, but it just brings the car together so well, especially the uh, headlining and carpeting, but yeah, this is definitely a cool one. Olive green one, always a bold choice to go for in color, but I think it definitely came together well. And the silver accents on the wheels and the chrome surprisingly works. So this is a particularly cool one because of its low roof line. I mean, if you check that out, it is a very low slanted roof line. It's almost not even recognizable as a 356. I mean, it pretty much isn't, but it's definitely cool looking, especially with the center exit exhaust. This is an awesome one. This is one of my favorites here. It's a 911K. So the reasoning for this is on the engine, uh, and obviously the engine bay is not open so we can't see it, but normally in an air-cooled Porsche, the fan is this way. But in this one, like a 917K, it is this way. So it's a very interesting car. And although it's, I guess I wouldn't say it's boring as far as looks go, but the little hint of yellow somehow makes it work. But yeah, this is a very cool project since no one's ever built a 911 like this. And my personal favorite of Rod Emery's, um, I've already talked about this one a bunch, at Luftgekult, but the 356 RSR, I mean, this car is just, yeah, it speaks for itself. I mean, in the color and the body panels, I mean, it totally is its own automobile. I mean, it definitely is not a 356. I mean, that's, it might look similar to one, but mechanically just about every single thing is different. Now the party piece of this car definitely is the rear end. So essentially, rather than having a rear bumper or diffuser, he just extended the body panels, and so you get this exposed exhaust, and yeah, it just speaks for itself. I mean, if I could afford to do a Rod Emery Porsche, this would be the one I do, no doubt. Definitely want to check out this uh, 993 Gunther Works, because they always do cool jobs building cars, and this is very cool, modern interpretation of the 993. This color's a bit weird, I don't know if I like it, but I think with the tan interior it works well. But check out the headlights, I mean, this is just so cool. I think the specialty of a Gunther Works car, though, has to be the interior, because, I mean, the, between the color and all the carbon fiber and just all the little details, it just is so nice looking. And there's the magic right there. A big four liter engine, so awesome. All right, so I'm supposed to be done filming, but these string lights, the reflections they make on the cars actually look really cool, so I thought I'd show you some B-roll of that. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, so I want to wrap up this video right where I started. So again, huge thank you to Ron and me for putting on this event. Always my favorite event during the Porsche Lit Week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content to come. And as always, I'm Joey, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.